Hello everyone and welcome back to our brain. Here we are going to discuss about cells EMF and internal resistance. So before going to this topic we should know about how a simple battery is work. Okay. So here we have simple battery and this side is we have positive and this side is we have negative. Right. Okay. So what is this positive? This positive terminal actually this positive that is cathode that that is actually in graphite okay and this side we have negative right that is anode that anode is made up of zinc and in between this anode and cathode we will have one electrolyte that electrolyte basically ammonium chloride or whatever is the solution they will have so generally these dry cells or cell that converts the chemical energy into electrical energy when we close the circuit. Now this is open, right? So there is no contact. So from the zinc we have anode, the electrons wants to move from this side to this side, okay? But how? If you are connecting any bulb, that time the electrons will flow from through that bulb and it reaches the, this cathode and the circuit will close, that time the current will pass through that bulb, bulb will lower now, yes? and for the case, if the circuit is open, what is the potential difference between these two? Yeah, that is only we are saying that EMF that will produces a steady current. That EMF will gives will give the steady current in a, when and close the circuit, right? Okay. Now we move on to this uh, cells and internal resistance and EMF. Okay. Here I have drawn one simple cell, right? That simple cell is like this cell. This cell only we are elaborated in the diagrams. So this is we have one container. In that container we have two electrodes. One is positive electrode and another one is negative electrodes. So the positive electrode means cathode, the negative electrode means anode, right? And these two electrodes are separated and which is kept in an electrolyte. This one is electrolyte. This area, the pink one, are all electrolyte right okay now we have connected one resistance have the name i named as capital r and which is connected to the other end of negative electrode right what will happen now the current will flow from from positive to and to the resistor r and pass through this negative electrode again it come down again it the current will transfer through this electrolyte and reaches positive electrode right yes so here what the concept here in the sense this positive electrode exchange their charges to this electrode at the point a for understanding and similarly this negative electrode exchange their charge to the electrolyte at the point b right and the potential difference in the positive electrode as well as the potential difference in the negative electrode we named as v suffix plus so the v suffix plus v suffix minus okay so here v plus here we have v suffix minus v suffix plus v suffix minus okay and now if you have the resistance r that resistance value is high what will happen assume that r is very maximum infinity what will happen the current will not flow through this cell right this setup so that is why we are saying that electromotive force Yes, when when there is no current pass through in that electrolyte cell, yes, that time we are saying that that is called EMF. So here I wrote when there is no current, the electrolyte has same potential throughout. If there is no current is passing through it, that's why I said R is infinity. If it is infinity, there is no current flow in that circuit. So inside the electrolyte, each and every point will have same potential. Therefore. The potential difference between P and N that is positive electrode and negative electrode that we can return as this is epsilon that is electromotive force E is, is equal to the difference between these two electrodes, difference between these two electrodes. So what is the difference, uh, elect, uh, potential difference of uh, positive electrode P suffix plus, difference means minus, what is the potential difference in the electrode, negative electrode minus V minus, right, minus V suffix minus. So minus of minus that will give plus. So we can write V suffix plus 
plus v sub x minus that is greater than 0 and this difference is called electromotive force. This difference is called electromotive force EMF that EMF is we can written as the symbol of like style is E uh, uh, like epsilon right ok. And a current flow through an elect electrolyte has a finite resistance of course once if the resistance value R is finite value definitely the current will flow through this electrolyte. That electrolyte has some minimum resistance that minimum resistance we are saying that R that is why I have wrote here finite resistance small r is called internal resistance yes are we clear about what is EMF in the sense when the circuit is open the potential difference between the positive electrode and the negative electrode the potential difference between anode and cathode that will give electromotive force right. So that we can return as epsilon is equal to v plus, mi plus v sub x minus which is greater than 0 and what is called internal resistance in the sense when the circuit is closed the current is flowing through that electrolyte that electrolyte has a finite resistance finite resistance means a small resistance the small resistance r is called internal resistance right and here further we need to find out the potential difference between these two points between p and n we need to find out the potential difference between positive electrode and negative electrode yeah here we are going to find out the potential difference between positive electrode and negative electrode that we called as capital b so the first case r is infinite i said earlier if r is infinite there is no current flow through then that the potential difference between uh, positive electrode and negative electrode we can say that that is called electromotive force EMF right. If R is infinite, so the potential difference between P and N we can name as capital V that is equal to the potential difference PD stands for potential difference between P and A because from the positive electrode to A at the point it exchange the charges and similarly the potential difference between A and B that is between the electrolyte and the potential difference between P and N negative electrode and the exchange of point exchange of charge at the point B. So we need to add all those potential difference between these three points right when if R is infinite if R is infinite what will happen current will not flow right only we will have this section and this section we will have this section we do not have because the current will not flow through that electrolyte because it has same potential throughout the electrolyte. So we can write so V plus plus V minus we are called as EMF yes so we can write V is equal to epsilon or style is E. So this factor and this factor this is V plus and this factor is V suffix minus. So V suffix plus plus V suffix minus if you are adding these two that will give electromotive, electromotive force E. So the potential difference V is equal to E electromotive force. Right. The EMF E is the potential difference between the positive and negative electrode in an open circuit. Underlying this word the EMF E is the potential difference between the positive and the negative electrode in an open circuit that means the current is not flow through that circuit that is when there is no current flowing through that cell that time the potential difference between anode and cathode or positive electrode and negative electrode is called as electromotive, electromotive force. Now, practically but that R is not infinite R has some finite value if it is has a finite value what will happen again we are going to calculate the potential difference between the positive electrode and negative electrode that is cathode and anode we are writing as this is the due to positive positive electrode right and this is due to negative electrode and what is this one minus IR I into R yes ohms law v is equal to i r that what is this r small r yes of course internal resistance the electrolyte has some finer resistance when current flow through it. So why this minus i r is indicating think about in the diagram the diagram the current flows from negative electrode to positive electrode yes that is why we are putting as minus remember that the current flow from negative electrode to positive electrode that is why we are putting as minus sign here. So V suffix plus plus V suffix minus we are named as we can say that electromotive force right minus IR therefore the potential difference between cathode and anode are the positive electrode and negative electrode V is equal to E minus I into small r 
right that minus i r indicates the current flow from b to a right from b to a b to b to a in the sense negative electrode to positive electrode now we need to find out the potential difference between p and n right so what you are going to do we know that ohm's law v is equal to i r so in that equation we have v instead of v we are going to substitute as i r so i r is equal to here we have e minus i into small r this minus sign this minus term should goes to left side therefore it will gives i into capital r plus i into small r that is equal to e then take i as common so i bracket r plus small r is equal to e therefore i we can return as i is equal to e divided by capital r plus small r so this is the to measuring the current when it flows through in a closed circuit suppose this r is uh, zero what will happen so we will have only e by r that means very minimum resistance if the r value is connected the maximum amount of current flow through it without damaging or to prevent the permanent damage of the cell so this is the condition for to produce maximum current i max is equal to e divided by small r that e is electromotive force and r is internal resistance i hope you understand clearly